there was an argument today between uh, a second day of argument between Angela Rye of CNN and former Congressman Joe Walsh, who's basically devolved into being some just a ridiculous right wing loudmouth shield. The conversation is based on was based on rather the qualifications of President Obama compared to any other president. And Joe Walsh makes this contention that President Obama was the least prepared candidate who ever became president, not holding any, not, not, not applying, connecting the dots to Donald Trump by far being the most feckless, unprepared, unqualified, doesn't even know the branches of government president that we've ever elected, probably besides an illiterate uh, Alexander, uh, not Alexander, but Andrew Jackson. You know, so Donald Trump is, but, but that's okay. Let me get off Trump and go back to the argument. Here's the thing about the argument that is exposed is that no matter what Barack Obama did prior, it was never enough and never going to be enough for the Republican party. But we're in this environment now where they don't care that Donald Trump has absolutely zero qualifications. Ivanka Trump has zero qualifications. That Jared Kushner has zero qualifications for anything that they're doing. And it's not just they don't, that they don't have qualifications, it's evident in all of the policies that they're trying to implement. It's evident with that first uh, uh, executive order doing a Muslim ban and how quickly it died. It died within a few hours uh, by uh, um, through the ACLU pushing back through federal court right it was so poorly written and so poorly implemented so it's not just the fact that they're unqualified but they're unqualified and it's demonstrated in their inability to get basic things done however in the minds of republicans it's going to be okay because they say it's okay and they will push back against any Democrat who challenges the qualifications of their president. Simultaneously, they will fix their mouths to undermine the fact that Barack Obama, no matter if you hate him or love him, was far more qualified for the presidency than Donald Trump was far more qualified for the presidency than 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 um, the idiot that came before him, George W. Bush. George W. Bush is the product of money and nepotism. He, that's how he became governor of, of, of Texas. And he surely was not qualified. He was not qualified in terms of his ability to carry out the job. He may have had a resume because he got and he was, you know, he became governor, an interloper, you know, in Texas. And he had the money and he had the name recognition and he became the governor of Texas. It's like you just go around the country. These rich white men just they're, they're, they're handing out they're handing out governorships to their sons so that they could see if they could become the next president. That's just how that shit works. Right. But the reality of it is, is Barack Obama was a constitutional uh, um, a professor, law professor. He was a state senator for years. He was a Senate. He served in the U.S. Senate for years and for for, I think, four of his six year term. And then he ran for president and he won and he carried out the presidency as good as any Republican president, um, <laughs> as good as any Republican president would. Right. All of that being said. We still allow Republicans to extract political pain from the Democratic Party every single day, even after Obama is gone. And yet Democrats are not as viciously extracting political points from the from from the of the sitting president who is so unqualified. And then the fact that he's adding his children into the fray who are equally as unqualified. But again, maybe it's because they're just too in love with this Russia narrative and it's, the Russia narrative is too juicy for them for them to pay attention to the fact that there is so much pain political pain and pressure to be extracted from the Republican Party for putting the most unqualified people imaginable in the White House and not just unqualified, but the results and the fruits and the proof of their unqualifiedness is evident in the policy failures that they have already in the in the military failures that they've had already in Yemen with with the disaster of all of these executive orders imploding underneath their own weight every single day you see the uh, the incompetent nature of this president but the democrats aren't taking them to task over his incompetence because they're fixated with Russia